I am going to explain a film called The Sorcerer and the White Snake. As the movie starts, we are shown two snakes. One is a white-colored snake and the other is a green-colored snake. Both the snakes are sisters. At this time, they look too young, but their ages are more than 1,000 years. The name of the white snake is Susan. Both of them can take the form of a human being. One day, both snakes see a boy on the mountains whose name is Xu Xian. Xu Xian was tasting the flowers on the mountains. On this, both the snakes get astonished that, do human beings also eat flowers? In fact, Xu Xian has come here with his friends in search of herbs. Xu Xian is moving forward through the mountains alone. Meanwhile, the green snake comes there in the form of a snake and frightens Xu Xian. Fear her, Xu Xian escapes the mountains and falls into a river. Seeing this, Susan, the white snake, feels sorry for Xu Xian. She also feels bad for Xu Xian. Therefore, by taking the form of a human being, Susan dives into the river. She gives her breath to Xu Xian and saves his life. Susan leaves after helping and saving Xu Xian. When Xu Xian wakes up, he finds his friends all around him. He asks his friend that the girl who has saved his life, where has she gone? His friends say there wasn't any girl. In fact, that is just your imagination. On the same day, a festival was going to be celebrated in the village. In this festival, a temple's master and his companions were also going, as they doubted that, in this festival, monsters are about to kill human beings. Taking herbs, Xu Xian is going there. For that reason, he is also taking the temple's master and his companions with him. On the other side, after giving her breath to Xu Xian and after helping him, the white snake, Susan, is missing that moment a lot. That is how she saved his life by giving her breath to Xu Xian. She was thinking about Xu Xian continuously. In fact, she started loving Xu Xian. Susan says to her sister, the green snake, that she has to meet the boy to whom she gave breath and saved his life. Therefore, they both also go to that festival in the village. On that same night, the master and his companion have come here with all their preparation to compete with those monsters, because they knew that monsters can attack human beings at any time. In the festival, the green snake meets the companion of the master. Because the green snake liked him, she wanted to be friends with him. The master's companion says that, for now, I can't talk to you because I have come here to catch those monsters who are about to attack human beings. But he didn't know that the girl who is going to be his friend and who is talking to him is also a monster in reality. Meanwhile, the green snake sees Xu Xian. She approaches him and says to him that my sister loves you and she also wants to meet you. Xu Xian says that I don't know your sister. After this, he refuses to meet his sister. For that reason, the green snake dives into the river and the boat in which there was Xu Xian, she takes that boat to his sister by pushing it. As Xu Xian comes to Susan, she says to him that she loves him. Xu Xian says, I love someone else, but I don't know who is that girl. She saved my life by giving me breath. Hearing that, Susan understands immediately that he is talking about her and he also loves her just as she loves him. Susan takes him in the water again to convince him and makes him realize that it is she whom he loves and who saved his life. Now, Xu Xian had also known that she is that girl. The master's companion sees some monsters, so he starts competing with those monsters bravely. But during that fight, one of the monsters bites the master's companions. For that, he calls his master for help. Meanwhile, the master comes there and competes with those monsters. He takes them into hell and kills them by burning them there. The next day, Susan goes to Xu Xian's house. Xu Xian gets very happy after seeing her in his house. They both start living together and also get married one day. While the master's companion was competing with monsters on that festival day, one monster had bitten him. For this reason, the master's companion was changing into a monster day by day. This makes him very upset and he feels tired of his life, that if he becomes a monster, he would become a danger for human beings. So, he is about to commit suicide in a desolate place. When he is doing so, there comes the green snake. She asks him that, why are you doing so? Don't do this. But on this, the master's companion answers that, I am becoming a monster gradually. I can't become a danger to human beings. So that, I want to commit suicide and want to end my life. Hearing that, the green snake tells him her reality. She shows him her snake tongue and says that if you will become a monster, there is no problem with this. I am also a monster. After this, we see the master who goes to the village. He sees that there were people who became victims of the monsters. Those people were in danger and were facing difficulty. Therefore, to save people and to help them, Xu Xian used to make herbs. But Susan knew that those monsters attacked those people. They are very powerful and dangerous to monsters. For that reason, 
those people are not going to be cured only by herbs. So, Susan breathes in those herbs to help her husband, Su Xian, and to save the lives of those people. Susan had a mouse who was her friend. That mouse says to Susan that, what are you doing? You are giving your breath. Even though know that this is no less of a threat for you, by giving your breath power, you will become weak. But Susan had to help his husband and those people. When Su Xian feeds the villagers the herbs he has made, they seem to be recovering and becoming normal. Seeing that, the master is shocked because the master knew that those people were not going to be cured no matter what. But now, seeing those people getting better, the master is astonished. He cannot understand anything. So, he asks Xu Xian that, did someone help you in making these herbs? On this, Xu Xian says, Yes, my wife helped me in making these herbs. The master had known that his wife is not a normal human being. Rather, she is a monster. So, the master gives Xu Xian a holy knife for his safety. After that, the master goes to Susan and says to her that, Why are you doing that? Being a monster, you married a human being, and you live like a human with human beings. But for now, I am not saying anything to you and leaving you because you are a good monster. You must leave Xu Xian alone and go. Otherwise, the outcome will not be good, and I will kill you. Saying that, the master goes out from there. When Su Xian comes home at night, he takes wine with him. And this is not an ordinary wine. Rather, a medicine is mixed in it, so that the poison does not spread when the snake bites. But Susan was a snake herself. Su Xian feeds Susan with that wine too. Susan feels weird after drinking the wine. Her condition worsens. Therefore, she locks herself in a room. Su Xian asks her many times that, why are you doing so? Are you angry at my words? But Susan cannot control herself, and she becomes a snake. To catch Susan, the master comes there and they both face each other. Then, Su Xian stabs Susan with that holy knife that the master gave him, because he did not know that this white snake is his wife. After getting stabbed by that knife, the white snake comes back to her sister, the green snake. As Susan was stabbed by that holy knife, now she can never take the form of a human being again. Rather, she will be a snake forever. Su Xian asks the master, where has my wife gone? On this, the master says, in reality, that white snake was your wife. You had married a snake whose age was more than a thousand years. Su Xian, hearing that his wife was a snake, gets shocked. Susan's friend, the mouse, says to Su Xian that there is one such herb with which Susan's life can be saved, but it's risky to get that herb, and it comes with danger because there is an influence of monsters at that place. But still, Su Xian goes there and with courage gets that herb, but Su Xian comes under the influence of those monsters. Therefore, all the master's companions try to save Su Xian together. The mouse gives that herb to Susan, which saves her life. Now, again, she could take the form of a human. As she gets better, Susan attacks the master and his companions. Because she was thinking that those people want to separate her and Su Xian. Anyways, Susan takes Su Xian to a place. She asks Su Xian, are you fine? But Su Xian had lost his memory. He could not remember anything, and he had also forgotten his wife, Susan. Susan asks the master, what have you done with my husband, Su Xian? Because he has forgotten me. But after some time, Su Xian remembers everything, and he gets absolutely normal. But as Susan was a monster, therefore, by using his power, the master makes an ancient house and traps Susan in it forever. It was absolutely impossible to come out of that house, but Su Xian spends his whole life waiting for his wife outside of that building. The master's companion has also become a monster now, but he is a good monster, and he stayed with the monster forever. Here, this movie ends.